Welcome to the channel, I'm FaceCast, and today we will briefly analyze every current necklace in Survivor.io and discuss which ones are best to use and which ones might not be. If you want to see more videos covering Survivor.io, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. You can also get a free gift from NordVPN when you sign up using the link in the description of this video. The Eternal Necklace is the only current S-grade piece of gear in this category, and it has 5 skills including the higher the target's HP, the more damage dealt, a 15% attack increase, a skill that deals additional damage to enemies with full HP, a 25% attack increase, and all passive effects plus 15% in battle. Being the only S-grade necklace, it will have an extra grade skill and increase stats like attack by a higher percentage. Other necklaces start with a 10% attack increase, while the Eternal Necklace starts with a 15% attack increase. Due to its grade skills, this necklace works well against enemies with high HP such as mini bosses and bosses, and can help increase your damage output. The Trendy Charm has four grade skills. The first one is unlocked at the blue grade better and increases attack by 10%. The next one reduces the cooldown for every 200 monsters killed by a percentage. The third one reduces the max cooldown by 30%, and the last one increases attack by 15%. The Trendy Charm may not currently increase attack attack by as much as the Eternal Necklace, but an epic grade trendy charm can drastically reduce your cooldown, which is potentially beneficial for DPS type loadouts, and builds heavily reliant on external skills. The Metal Neck Guard does two things. It increases your attack and two passive effects by a percentage. A better grade Metal Neck Guard will increase attack by 10%. The next two grade skills increase the first and last passive effects by 30%, and the last grade skill increases attack by 15%. What this means is that this Neck Guard will increase the stats of the first and last supplies you obtain in the game depending on the grade of the gear. So if you initially obtain sports shoes, your movement speed will be affected by the gear. And if the last supply you obtain is the oil bond, the amount of gold you gain will be increased from its original state. The metal neck guard is a very interesting piece of gear that can increase the stats of two passives by 30% each. And I would personally use this in a farm build to gain more coins and EXP, or a build where I need more than the 40% attack increase provided by the eternal necklace. The eternal necklace in comparison does increase each passive by 15%, so it would be nice to see an S-grade version of this gear one day to really make it the most prominent passive booster. The Emerald Pendant has 4 grade skills, including an attack increase of 10%, generates radiation ring that deals damage over time, all radiation ring damage doubled, and another skill that increases your attack by 15%. I like this necklace early on in the game as it will create a small force field around you that deals damage to enemies that get too close. It can be useful if you aren't aren't using the force field or other close combat skills. The bone pendant is all about one thing baby, and that's slowing things down. It has 4 skills, an attack increase of 10%, monsters in range are slowed, greatly increases slow effect, and an attack increase of 15%. The bone pendant creates an area around you that slows the enemies when they get too close. It's pretty good against hordes of enemies, but not the best piece of gear to use against bosses in the early chapters. If you're looking for a necklace to boost your damage output by a large percentage, then the Army neck plate is the right piece of gear for you. It has 4 skills including an attack increase of 10%, gain inspire from elite slash boss kills, which will increase all damage by 20% and goes away when you get hit, inspire damage increased to 50%, and an attack increase of 15%. The downside of using this necklace is that you want to avoid taking damage once you have gained inspire, and there are additional pieces of gear like the light runners that have skills requiring you to take damage to be effective, so if you use the army name plate. Be cautious of which gear you have equipped for optimal results. That does it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. By the way, what is your favorite necklace? Let's hear it in the comments below. And before you go, smash like, subscribe, and then have a great day. I'll see you guys later.